This is Speak My Word Ministries, Travis Zimmerman. The Daily Pulse today is about the Bible mini-series that was on the History Channel and actually ended up on Resurrection Sunday, Easter, and our family's recorded. We haven't made it the whole way through yet, but as I was reading in Business Week, Bloomberg Business Week, as they've renamed themselves, uh, one of the few magazines that I still read, there was an article here on, specifically on, let's get biblical on it. It was basically a review of the Bible, you know, the mini-series. And, you know, anytime I see an article like this in one of the secular publications that I read, it, I, I kind of take it with a grain of salt. And this one, in that way, did not disappoint. And this gentleman who's writing it says, As a work of narrative storytelling, and talking about the Bible, the Bible falls short. The characters are just as one-dimensional as the ones described in a Sunday school fable, only angrier. You know, and I'm just going to stop at that. You know, there, 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 were, there were multiple issues I had with this article. I thought, I'm just not going to overplay it, just talk about one of them. But the Bible as you know, the fable. And I looked at fable, and you know, could my mind have been, you know, circumscribed and, and, and too closed on this? So I looked up on Bing, define colon fable, and I think it's a great dictionary. And they said fable is, is a tale that teaches a lesson, often with animals. So you think kind of like Aesop's fables, you know, totally you know, contrived, but more often it was like, a, you know, another definition was about legendary, but r regardless of the definition that I read, it was basically, you know, it was basically made up, and that's so far from the truth. Jesus says in John 17, 17, sanctify them by your word. He says here in John 17 in the Upper Room Discourse, sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. Your word is truth. God's word is full of truth. It's all truth. He wrote it through at least 40 inspired writers. But the Bible, you know, I don't know if the, the writer, instead of using you know, fables, meant to say parables. You know, no, parables Jesus did contrive, but they were meant to teach lessons. And they involved you know, people and people who had attitudes like me and you that, that were sinning and, and sometimes knowing it, sometimes not knowing it. So again, again Instead of my, you know, again, here we go, the, the righteous anger, the pray, to pray that God's word would be, that, that we would have hearts to hear, and that we wouldn't be like that when people talk to us and, and try to correct our behavior and talk to us about things that we're, you know, we're not doing perfectly because none of us is Jesus, amen? But in that way, that I could have a, a humble heart, and then also I would pray just for those who watch the Bible message, I can say this, we've not been largely... It's been very mediocre. I mean, it's it's neat to see the period costumes and see in the director's interpretation what it looks like. But as far as the Bible, we kind of watch it, pause, go read the scripture and, and see what's happening. And that's been helpful. But Lord, may we all have a heart to hear you. In Jesus' name, amen.